In Ghana, many patients who have recovered from COVID-19 are facing stigmatization and discrimination. Those who have been tested and declared negative from the disease are still treated as contagious and unsafe to have around by some community members. But the Director of Health Promotion Division at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Dacosta Abwaje, says the situation has not helped the fight against the coronavirus, adding that the disease is not a death sentence. The disease is not a death sentence. In fact, majority of Ghanaians will survive the disease. So we should be welcoming those recovered into our communities without any name calling, without any stigma, and together we will win this fight. It is very important that we make sure that we educate the population on stigma. He called on companies in the country to develop stigmatization policies to help recovered patients of the coronavirus to return to work without worries of stigmatization. We are finding out that even people in critical and severe conditions of COVID-19, when they report early, they are recovering. So most of the deaths have also been people who have reported very late to our health facilities. So we are pleading with Ghanaians not to feel shy of COVID-19, but immediately they experience the symptoms, they must report to the nearest health facility. Dr. Dacosta Abwaje further encouraged persons with symptoms of the virus to visit health centers for tests to improve their chances of survival against the virus. To employers, employers will also make sure to welcome all persons affected with the disease back to work when they are uh, declared discharged. Now, the good news is we are saying that our new discharge policy makes it clear that between 10 to 14 days, symptoms are asymptomatic. You do not share the virus. The virus is not contagious. You do not pose a threat to anyone. So we are also saying that all companies will have anti-stigma policies. He was hopeful that with persistent education on the virus and stigmatization, people would learn to treat COVID-19 patients fairly.